Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good evening, this is Dr. Pradhan here. Welcome to NPTEL project on econometric modeling. So, today we will discuss the component multivariate econometric modeling. So, in the last couple of lectures, we have discussed the entire structure of econometric modeling that to bivariate analysis and trivariate analysis. In fact, trivariate itself is the entry point to multivariate but you know for simplicity or you can say understanding point of view. So, we have classified into the uh, three different setup, one is the bivariate setup, trivariate setup and multivariate st setup. So, we are just uh, you know entering one after another complex problems, but the starting point of econometric modeling is with respect to two variables. If the system consists of two variables, then we can proceed for analysis or you can go for fitting econometric models. So, that is how, uh, so the starting point of econometric modeling involves two variables. So, one is dependent and another is independent. So, now the process will be very complicated and means in fact more complex if you proceed you know or if you enter one after or if you add one after another variable in the particular systems. Okay. So, like this. Okay. So, the starting point of the case is like one is y here, another is x1 here. So, we like to know what is the influence of y and x1. So, this particular structure is called as a bivariate econometric modeling. Okay. So, now in the case of trivariate, so we have one dependent variable y and we have two independent variables x1 and x2. So, like y here and we have x1 and we have x2. Okay. So, we like to know how x1 and x2 has integrated in the case of y. Oh, this is case of trivariate modeling. All right. So, this is the case of trivariate modeling. So, here, here there are two independent variables and we like to know what is the influence of two independent variables to dependent variables. Okay. You see here, when we move from bivariate to trivariate, then uh, 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 in fact the variable uh, size, uh, number of variable size is very high. Uh, in the same times, the complexity of this modeling is also uh, substantially increase or you can say substantially very high. For instance, here very interesting point is that we can able to track what is the you know tra uh, exact relationship between x1 and x2, but so far as econometric modeling is concerned means best fitted model is concerned. So, uh, particularly in the case of trivariate model and onwards like you know trivariate then if you proceed to multivariate, then in that case the problem is that the relationship between these independent variables what we usually call is a multi collinearity problem okay so you see here so here there is no such problem in the case of bivariate model the problem uh, i mean the structure itself is a very simple one where the complexity is almost all very negligible or at the low level but the complexity or you know the game is more interesting when we will move to trivariate or multivariate I, 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 will, I will you know detail highlight here so what is the basic problems or you know setup when we move from bivariate to trivariate so the journey starts from bivariate then ultimately we have to move to trivariate okay so then i will just uh, before moving to the trivariate econometric means multivariate econometric modeling so i will little bit highlight here the basic setup of this means particular problem so one of the standard problem here is the Multicollinearity issues. So, what is all about this multicollinearity issue? Multicollinearity issue means the existence of linear relationship among the uh, regressors. So, what we call it a independent variables, uh, independence variable in this particular setup. So, now in this particular structure, this model uh, model accuracy model accuracy is not okay, or means the model cannot be best uh, fitted. It may be close to best fitted, but I will give you another examples here so that you can get to know how is the model fitted. So, let us say I, I will have a structure like this y, this is y and this is x1. So, I will create another uh, another variables here x2. This particular, this is one, one problem and this is another problem. 
but if you compare these two, this is trivariate model and this is another trivariate model. But now between these two, so this is considered as the best models because this is considered as the best model because uh, uh, there may be some other problems, but by you know external out, outlook, you can make a guess that this problem is a, a means probably it will be best fitted. The reason is that because the additional problem which you will receive from the trivariate model is the multicollinearity issue which is not clearly visible here. So, the moment if you put it in a set form, so since there is no intersection between x1 and x2, so obviously we, we are making a guess, it is not a question of guess, the moment if the uh, sample information has a no close means no connection, then obviously by default itself they are totally independent. But uh, this should not be completely independent to y. If there is a completely independent to y, then there is no point to put it in any econometric models. So, that means, so x1 has an influence on y, x2 must have an influence on y, but in the same time x1 should not have any connection between x1, uh, should not have any connection. So, if there is any connection, then obviously there is the problem will be more interesting or you can say more complexity. So, for instance, uh, if the, by any chance, if there is such relationship between x1 and x2, then ultimately uh, uh, ultimately the complexity will start increasing for instance i will i will take another another issue here so this is y this is y this is x1 okay this is y this is x1 and this is x2 okay so uh, this is another trivariate model here so now you see here this is one di uh, one different problem this is another different another problem this is uh, altogether another problem so now uh, if you compare all the, the forget about this bivariate analysis now because we are already moved to trivariate because a multivariate has a little bit connection to the trivariate and more or less trivariate multivariate are in the uh, same groups okay so it is oh, oh, one structures so now in this particular setup so if this is the case then by look we can say that it is a best fitted model and it that model can be considered as the best fitted. For obviously we have to go for estimation process then reliability check etc etc but in the meantime uh, if you will find this setup is like this, you know, case 1 and case 3, then it is little bit, you know, uh, negative side of the uh, uh, reliability or uh, the negative side of the econometric models. And again, if you compare uh, 1 and 3, then obviously 3 is more complicated and this comp this problem is more dangerous because here the association between x and x1 and x2 is too much high, okay. So, the as a result, by default, it will uh, means you know before going for estimations, if you go for you know cross checking of the all this data and information, then obviously uh, you have to find out solution for that so that uh, uh, so that uh, you know before you know facing problem you have to cure it. Otherwise, in if you go with this type of structures, then I am very sure one point of time your reliability will get affected. So what you have to do? So, uh, before you going for estimations, then obviously you have to clarify all these details and you know process so that it cannot be problem at all. So, it sometimes it is not possible uh, uh, altogether uh, because if the sample observations are uh, you know not straightforward and too much high, then that times it is a, a means it is very problematic. So, anyway by uh, you know uh, by any chance if you can make a guess then obviously you have to find out to its solution before you enter into the estimation and reliability checking. Otherwise, uh, it means it is altogether step step by step process and every stage uh, every step or every stage you have to be very careful uh, about all these problems or complexity. So, that uh, uh, you know when uh, when you will go for estimation and reliability you may not face this type of pro problem further because the moment you are entering to the estimation and reliability checking. So, it is you know you have already uh, spent lots of time uh, effort etc. So, it is uh, a, because though it is a continuous process still you know um, it will create unnecessary headache for you to uh, go for this checking etc. So, it is better to find out its solutions. So, similarly I will take another case here. So, this is y this is this is x 1 and this is x 1 this is in fact this is in fact more dangerous because here the degree of uh, association between these two variables is you can say substantially very high. So, that is why you have to be very careful about it. In this if in case you are facing a problems like this means you, you know this is how we are making a guess with respect to information because we have not uh, uh, we have not uh, entered anything about estimation. But you know plotting all these points with respect to x1 and x2. So, we are checking how they are 
whether there is a association. You see, if you have a y information and x information, uh, let us say oh, oh, some y informations are there with respect to time or with respect to cross sectional unity, then you may uh, just apply the set theory and you find out the intersections. Okay. Uh, if y x 1 intersection cannot 0, then that will be fitted. If y x 2 uh, intersection is not 0, then it is fitted. But uh, the uh, essential requirement to fit that particular model y with respect to x 1 and x 2 is that, so the intersection between x 1 and x 2 should be 0, okay. there should not be equal to any common element. If there is a such common element, then there is a problem of multi and that is one of the obstacles of econometric modeling. So, so you have to bring a particular system, so where uh, we, y and x1 has a connection, y x2 has a connection, but in the same times x1 and x2 has no connection, but, uh, but the uh, in the real world problems, it is very difficult to find out a situation where y x1 has a linkage, y x2 has a linkage and in the same times x1 and x2 has a no linkage. So, for that is particularly for trivariate econometric modeling and the complexity is more interesting when we will go for multivariate uh, multivariate modeling. So, now in the case of trivariate, so uh, it is very difficult because most of the variables are very very interdependent each other. Uh, so, uh, that dependency depends upon uh, means it's, uh, it, it, it depends upon the degree. So, if the degree is very low then obviously you know uh, obviously the model accuracy will be very high but the degree of collinearity is you know drastically high then the model accuracy will be very low it's you know uh, inverse relationship to uh, inversely related to each other so that means model accuracy depends upon the degree of linearity among the regressors so if the degree of linearity among the regressor is very high then obviously model accuracy will be very low but if model accuracy is very high when by default we are guessing or we can observe that there is a substantial chance that the degree of association between x1 and x2 will be substantially low. This is the basic starting point of this, you know, trivariate modeling. So, uh, uh, means uh, what I, my intention is here that, so I, 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 li I like to highlight when will we move from basic to complex, that means, you know, uh, in this particular structures, if you move from bivariate to trivariate and trivariate to multivariate, what type of problems you usually face and what sorts of advantage and disadvantage. Obviously, you know, uh, so far as a overall model fitness is concerned, then the multivariate model is always be, um, very strong enough or you can say very beautiful to justify something. But in the, in the same times, there, there are some additional problems, some complexity are there that you have to take care of very properly. So, if you could not take that type of problems, then obviously it will affect the model accuracy or you can say model reliability. So, you must be you must be very careful about all these problems. So, with this basic, you know, uh, in fact, there are certain other problem also, which is not uh, typically visible in the case of, you can say, uh, in, in case of trivariate models, but it can be visible in the case of multivariate model. So, we will see how this particular problem can be uh, more complicated, more complex once we move to the, you can say, multivariate process or multivariate modeling, but you know, you remember one thing, uh, if you you are very comfortable with the bivariate structure, then you can able to, you are, you also feel enjoyment in, uh, in the bivariate, uh, trivariate structure and multivariate structure, because the structure is more or less same, only the, uh, only the additional part is just we are adding one after another variable to the system. So, for as a, you know, calculation or, uh, you know, uh, formulation is concerned, it is, it is a little bit complicated and for different problems or you can say different uh, degree of involvement. So, we have to use mathematics accordingly, okay. For instance, in the multivariate models, so uh, means once you have a bivariate setup, then uh, uh, it is very easy to handle the situation. If trivariate, it, it is still easy to handle the particular situation, but if it is a multivariate uh, consists of you can say 10 variables or 20 variables. So, it is very difficult to handle together and that in that particular context by you know simple mathematics it cannot be possible to uh, you can say solve this particular problem particularly uh, if it is in the classroom uh, class work, uh, but uh, still it can be able to manage provided you must have a strong mathematical knowledge. For instance, uh, if uh, means particularly mathematical tool matrix is very useful for multivariate technique until unless you have a complete information of matrix knowledge, then it is very difficult to solve multivariate problems in a particular class, uh, classrooms. 
So, yes, of, of course, uh, when we will go for research oriented problems or project oriented work, then that times in fact we, we have to handle in a software, structural software, proper structural st software. So, that times uh, uh, just you have to know the themes and know the structures, know the uh, uh, setup and you can say interpretation, all these, uh, uh, you means you must have complete knowledge about this modeling, then you have to operate properly that software, that is all, but just you have to, uh, uh, you know, uh, this theme is just you have to interpret properly with respect to the re obtained result and it is a interpretation, but when you are in the class, uh, you have to be very careful and you should be little bit smart enough how you have to handle the situation with the quick time without having the use of statistical software or without uh, use of you can say. Of course, you know some of the uh, some of our lectures we uh, allow excel sheet to handle the situations, but excel sheet is just like a, a cal calculator. So, it will help in you know uh, you know. Uh, middle levels only, it will not give you the final, the moment you will go for software use, then it will give you, uh, directly it will give you the final result. So, the intermediate process, it is very difficult to have through software, ok. Uh, of course, if you uh, use the programming, then if you go step wise, then obviously you can have this information, but uh, uh, you know, this is uh, more, more or less complicated, ultimately we have to justify something else, ok. So, our point is not to, oh, you know, uh, to uh, make a beautiness in programming or make beautiness in software or make beautiness in uh, uh, mathematical formulation, etc. Our structure is to fit the estimated models and that should be considered as the best. That is how we are doing all things. These are the helpful tools through which we can, we can have the results very quickly so that uh, I, we can manage the things in a less times. So, that is how this means these are the basic fundamental issue or basic information before we go before we proceed to multivariate analysis. So, now uh, first thing is what is all about multivariate analysis ok. Let me highlight here. So, multivariate analysis, multivariate analysis, multivariate modeling basically here the system is like this means I am just graphic uh, graphically highlighting the issue. So, here y is considered as a dependent variables and we have we have x 1 and we uh, means I, I, I am I am now moving uh, uh, you know at a, uh, at a good structural level. So, that uh, uh, the complexity automatically removed, but uh, you know let us uh, let us first try in a simple simple structured way then we will go for complexity ok. So, what is simple structured way? The simple structured way is here the game boundary is means more than uh, k more than 3 because we are all together multivariate that means y is 1 obviously then obviously uh, means uh, in the other sides k must be greater than to 2 ok. So, what in the case of uh, just like in, in the case of bivariate model what we, we receive forget about n but k is important here. So, k is equal to 2 years. So, in the case of trivariate models so, n, uh, n is ok, because uh, k is k has a lot of integration with n, because uh, the reason is that uh, your model accuracy or you know model reliability depends upon your sample size and number of involvement. For instance, suppose you, you have a you have a model, uh, you have a model consists of 20 variables and you have a, uh, we, you have another models with a 2 variables ok, that means it is a bivariate and it is a multivariate but here k equal to 2 and here k equal to 20 and sorry 19 uh, keeping in uh, you know uh, uh, means uh, in addition to that dependent variables. Anyway, if you add together if it is k here uh, means uh, k is considered as 2 then obviously here k is considered as a 20. So, now you see here with 20 sample observation you, you can go for estimation, but if we, we, with 20 samples and 20 variables you cannot go for this estimation. And when you will add one after another variable, then obviously you make a look that or you must be a, you, you must be in a position to increase sample size accordingly. So, the moment you will add one after another variable, the same sample cannot be used accordingly. So, that should be you can say for instance, if it is the 20 samples and two, you are going by way to try it, it, it is not a problem or if you will add another variable, it is not a problem. But if you will add 15 more variable at a stretch, then obviously it will be it will be you know uh, very complex uh, uh, very complex and uh, by default it, you will get model inaccuracy. So, you will not get a, a best fitted model. So, that is why 
you know the n and k has a lots of integration because it is one of the checkpoint through which you can get to know whether the estimated estimated model for uh, the way we will estimate the model it will be uh, you know uh, uh, most reliable and it can be best fitted and it can be used for forecasting so these these are all you know so, uh, different cross checking methods through which you, you can make a judgment or before you go for estimation or reliability checking if all these you know cross checking is uh, something negative or you can say other way around then obviously you have to you have to clear or you have to first uh, erase all these problems then before you go to going to uh, with this estimation and you can say reliability checking so now so wh what we have uh, observed here to first observation is uh, see the relationship between independent variables is more complex when you go to multivariate model and in the same times uh, the relationship between n n and k has to be taken care of properly that is these two things are very important here in this case of multivariate setting okay so now in the case of trivariate a trivariate here k equal to 3 okay so now when we will go for multivariate models so in fact multivariate models with respect to how many variable that is very important we can re represent here so let's say k equal to say 10 so that means it is the this system is consist of multivariate where number of variables equal to 10 only okay so 10 means one dependent and another nine other independent variables so now this this particular problem is more interesting more you know uh, structures uh, so far as a multivariate is concerned so now is you, you let us assume that for us for uh, you know very simplicity so what we can do we will start with it say uh, four variables together so that four variables mean it can be considered as also multivariate okay so let's see uh, if you go for four variables with this very very simple structure then we will assume that whatever independence variables in our system we have so these are this should not have any correlation means they should not be re, uh, related each other again so that means we have another variable say x2 and we have another variable say x3 and we have another variable say x5 so now here i don't know oh, means we cannot right now we, we need not require what is the n structure of course it it should be obviously substantially greater than to k so but here k is how much uh, x1 x2 x3 this is uh, x1 x2 x3 this should be x4 so let's say okay this is x4 so now so all together so there are five variables here so there are five variables so that means the essential condition is that n should be substantially greater than to k so that means your n should be obviously greater than at least greater than even if it is equal to 5 the result cannot be the model cannot be uh, best fitted or uh, the accuracy itself sometimes you know if you put in softwares it it may not operate properly it will give you message that insufficient information so this is how you have to uh, you have to be very careful okay so in the meantime so what you have to do so you you have to take care of this particular problem this is very serious issue before you going to multivariate models all right so now uh, uh, the way i have here uh, uh, structured the particular problem is that so y is here so that means y is a function of years x1 x2 x3 and x4 so this is how the you know mathematical formulation of this particular problem okay because when uh, this econometry modeling has a lots of beauty so one beauty is you must have a very theoretical knowledge and the theory must be very perfect and it should be very interesting or it must be very challenging then uh, through the theory you have to build a mathematical models okay so this mathematical model has also beauty because there are many ways you can formulate the mathematical models so then the, uh, once you will get a proper mathematical model then that can be transferred into proper statistical model then then our starting point will be is uh, means that is the starting point for a, uh, for our econometric modeling that means before we going to, before we start any econometric process or econometric modeling so you have to do lots of homeworks with respect to theory exact problem objectives and of course there is also hypothesis which is a which is a, which you have to be fixed means we have to fix before uh, uh, before you know going for this uh, uh, model fitting okay sometimes this is in all together in research you have to do all these assignments uh, if it is a you know small classroom problem that is different task but the uh, the actual issue is in econometric model is that it should be substantially attached with the particular theory and problems objectives and you know hypothesis 
so these are all your home assignments you have to do before this econometric uh, uh, fitting of econometric modeling so the moment you have then you have to uh, you have to do all cross checking first then you have to proceed further so in this particular setup so what we have observed so this is the, the, this is the mathematical formulation of the model but in this particular contest if we if we transfer this mathematical form of the model to statistical form of the model then the then the uh, formulation will be like this x1 x2 x3 x4 then u okay so the, this is the this is the statistical form of the model this is statistical model this is mathematical model so uh, of course uh, uh, this mathematical model this is in implicit format can be represented in many ways this is also implicit format can be represented in many ways for instance it can be uh, they are they may be linearly related they mean may be non linearly related again non linearity there may there are, there are various shapes like you know it may be uh, the logarithmic in nature it may be exponential in nature so like this it may be some kind of powers functions so th there are certain uh, you know rules and regulation through which you have to observe all these details okay so now uh, once you have a statistical form of the model so now e e if you this integrate with these statistical models but you know typically uh, this econometric issues then obviously if your uh, information is you know uh, plotting of information is coming like this then obviously uh, obviously so that means uh, you, you you the structure is like this uh, uh, you know you see here the structure is in this particular case we have y and y it consists of uh, y1 y2 then you can say yn okay so this is how the structure is all about so these are all sample information similarly we have we have for for different variables uh, independent variables so we will take x1 x1 is nothing but x11 x12 then it is nothing but x1n okay x1n so similarly uh, for x2 the picture is x21 x22 x2n okay x2n then x3 consists of x31 x32 then x3n okay then uh, we have to move to x4 x41 x42 okay then x4n so for uh, uh, you know can uh, k, k number of variables so it will extend to k but this particular formulation so we have for uh, for independent variables and one dependent variable so the uh, you know sample information is uh, uh, you can set the sample information like this way in fact these are all theoretical uh, setup uh, these are all theoretical setup there may be some quantity figure in all these details okay so what do you have to do uh, for the you know for when this model will be like this uh, y and x1 x2 x3 x4 like this so so these are means there there is no common elements in between so that means there is no connection between this and this there is no connection between this and this and there is no connection between this and this means the these are all no real co no correlation again uh, the complexity to start with the x1 and x3 and the complexity to start with the x1 and x4 then uh, uh, then uh, then in fact x2 to x4 again so the, these are the possible way you have to find out the um, linear relationship among the regressors and these are all essential before you going for you can say uh, uh, before you going for estimation of this particular econ multivariate econometric model so since uh, uh, since the, uh, means by graph we are getting that the there is no there is no uh, such uh, uh, intersection so obviously this correlations uh, uh, there is no correlation between all these items so we, we will highlight how it can be structured altogether for instance for x x1 x2 so what is this collinearity we can we can get the correlation coefficient x1 uh, x1 2 so obviously if if, if your structure is like this then obviously if we we'll correlate x1 and x2 then correlation uh, x1 and x2 most uh, means not most probably uh, means obviously it will be equal to 0 because there is no common point here similarly r, r x1 uh, 3 will also equal to 0 then r uh, x1 4 is also equal to 0 then r x x2 uh, r x1 2 x1 4 x x1 4 then r x2 okay x2 3 is equal to also 0 then r r x2 4 
r x2 for is also equal to 0 these are the these are the possible ways you have to uh, you have to justify x1 uh, uh, 2 3 x1 3 g uh, left here okay x1 a 3 g this is x1 x2 this is x1 x2 this is x1 x4 uh, this is x1 x3 then x1 x4 this is x1 x4 then x1 x3 this is x1 2 3 so there is x x1 3 is already here okay mm, so, uh, so x1 uh, uh, x2 x3 then x2 x4 okay x2 x4 so these are the possible cases 1 2 3 mm, 4 5 okay then another is x1 4 x1 4 is there x1 4 x2 4 okay x2 4 so x2 4 is equal to 0 right so this these are the possible ways you have to establish the relationships so these are all equal to 0 okay so now in this particular structure if we move for econometric modeling and its estimation or reliability checking most of the is chance means most uh, most probably you will get the best fitted models so uh, 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 you know we will now proceed to discuss the details about this econometric modeling that to multivariate data so in addition to this particular problem so we will face very interesting very complex issues also let us highlight what are these complex issues okay so how do we start with this particular multivariate model and how how uh, beautiness you can apply uh, uh, so that the model can be a uh, very accurate or very perfect to go for the mathematical derivation or you can say mathematical estimation so let us uh, proceed with that particular setup okay so let, uh, let us assume that the system consists of k variables okay so now if the system consists of k variables including uh, including the dependent variables so that means uh, k minus 1 independent variables in the particular systems okay so k minus independent variable and k, uh, k dip, uh, 1 dependent variable so all together the prob, uh, multivariate analysis has to be discussed with the k number of that means he that k we, we started with this uh, concept degrees of freedom n minus k so that k is uh, in uh, in fact it is unknown but it may, it may be k equal to 10 it may be 20 it may be 30 like this way there are many ways it can be represented but uh, you know let us we start with this k setup then we will summarize it okay so y equal to here obviously i will write like this y equal to some uh, beta 0 plus summation beta i x i i equal to 1 to 1 to k okay so this is the mathematical starting point of <coughs> mathematical starting point of multivariate models so uh, if if you let if you will make a look in this particular uh, uh, models then you know in the case of trivariate setup so we put i equal to 1 to uh, uh, i equal to 1 to uh, uh, 2 only okay i equal to 1 to 2 and in the case of you can say at uh, bivariate model it is i equal to 1 to uh, simply i equal to 1 only okay because it is nothing but beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 like this y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 beta 1 x1 so that is bivariate setup bivariate model so when uh, i equal to uh, 1 to 2 then obviously the structure will be y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 that is called as a trivariate model which we have uh, just now we have discussed okay uh, so uh, so the uh, so the uh, complexity will start when you will go for uh, you know I, I, I equal to 1 to k so that means the system will be like this beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus uh, beta 3 x3 okay plus continue beta k and x k okay so this is the mathematical generalization of multivariate models okay so this is altogether mathematical form of the model here the uh, uh, model uh, model uh, uh, speaks that uh, your independent variables k number of independent variables has an integration with the y okay so when we will fit like this way so there is a there is a lots of chance that there are other variables which can influence this also y because the moment we we, we are putting y equal to beta zero 
plus beta 1 x 1 up to beta k x k then obviously we are assuming that only k number of variables which can influence y if we will not put anything extra and we are putting this statement that means this particular left hand side that means uh, x 1 to x k has a has a you can say uh, uh, you can say 100 percent influence on y but uh, still if you are saying 100 percent information statistician does not believe or economician does not believe it so they assume that there is some some factor means there is a possibility of some factor which can also influence the y in this particular setup so as a result uh, so it has to be it has to be investigated or it, it has to be verified so the moment uh, the question of investigation and verification is there so obviously your first target is to get the estimated parameters okay so then uh, accordingly you will get the estimated model so the moment you will get the estimated model so you have to go for the reliability that to significance of parameter and significance of overall fitness of the model so now the overall fitness of the model will give you signal whether the starting of this mathematical form of the model and later transferring to structural form of the model is you know perfectly fitted and 100 percent fitted like this so the justification that means if you will say that uh, these uh, these are the variable which are only influencing y then in that particular case so we we know the overall fitness depends upon r square which is when when the you know when all these variables has 100 percent influence on y and obviously r square should be exactly equal to 1.0 because r square is a coefficient of determination uh, which range is always 0 less than r square less than 1 okay so if by any chance all these variables are not sufficient to influence or 100 percent in not having 100 percent influence on y then obviously the r square cannot be equal to 0 so that means most of the cases r square will be less than to 1 but you remember r square cannot be cannot be negative r square cannot be negative because it is a square obviously uh, in fact this capital r square and which you, we have discussed long back uh, in small r square compared to this particular capital r square small a small r is a correlation coefficient which can be negative or positive but if you will go for uh, square of the correlation coefficient then obviously it will it will be always positive but uh, you know when you will calculate simple correlation like the way we have described describes this uh, r x 1 x r x 1 x 4 like this these are all simple correlation coefficient that can be negative that can be positive but that is not the issue so in that particular case there is a possibility you know uh, negative and positive but when we will go for r square so it cannot be negative so it will be either 0 or 1 or in between uh, 0 and 1 so the model accuracy or um, means model reliability is very high if the r square value is close to 1 okay if the model accuracy and model reliability is very low if the r square value is close to 0 which we have uh, detail highlighted in the case of bivariate analysis and in fact in the case of trivariate analysis so in the major problem is here is that so when we are putting a k variables in the systems then obviously there are k number of parameters okay so uh, when r square is close to 1 then the requirement uh, essential requirement is that whatever parameters involved in that particular models it should be it should be highly statistically significant that means all these individual parameters has to be statistically significant and at the higher level that too at, at least uh, means at one percent level so now if r square one and the other situations are not okay then obviously the model accuracy is something uh, wrong or is a, a, a model accuracy is somewhat low so you have to find out the situation otherwise uh, otherwise r square may not be exactly equal to 1 so if there is a r square equal to 1 then obviously there is a, there is a lots of danger signals so because when r square is there and other variables uh, all variables are not uh, statistically significant then definitely it is an you know clue that or it will give you clue model itself will give you clue that there is some kind of problems either in estimations or in the model formulations or the inclusion of variables or something something maybe with respect to sometimes the sample size also the uh, problem integration so many so many things will be coming into the picture so but once you have the estimated model everything can be 
you can say uh, disc uh, discuss or you can say you can make a guess but until unless you go for this estimation and uh, you ha you have not this uh, estimated model then obviously it is very difficult to say something or you cannot make a comment so the uh, in fact the model uh, for, uh, for instance for econometry model case uh, we, we the game is more interesting with respect to multivariate models only the moment you will have a multivariate model then there are various additional problem various interesting problem that to you know diagnostic check etc so uh, in fact uh, multivariate is the starting point uh, one of this uh, one of the stage through which we have to discuss so many aspects so many uh, different problems under econometric modeling so yeah, uh, we have lots of interesting games under this econometric model so like you know autocorrelation problem heterocorrelation problem uh, serial correlation problems then you know dummy variable modeling in fact dummy can be also applied in the bivariate structure then structural equation modeling and panel data modeling so these are all interest means oh, what what i i want to say that in all these all these components and structures are more interesting once you handle or once we discuss this with the multivariate setup but the if the setup is you know very limited or in a bivariate then obviously these, these discussion have a less accuracy and less reliable even if you know in the case of bivariate structures if you will get a model where all these parameters are statistical highly statistical significant and r square is highly statistical significant even r square equal to 1 and all the statistical all the parameters are or all the variables have uh, 1 percent level of significance still there is lots of confusion so it is also in fact more dangerous if you will say for a bivariate setup if you are getting r square 1 and uh, all variables are highly significant by default it will give you wrong signals and that model may not be fitted for this may not be considered for policy use or you can say forecasting because but uh, on the other side if you have a, a model multivariate models where you will get a few variables structural significant and r square is less than 2 1 that model can be considered as the best and can be used for forecasting and policy use. but the, uh, in the reverse case where r square is 1 and all parameters are statistical significant then your game boundary is just limited to two variables y and x that is more more means more and more you can say uh, wrong way to go for you know forecasting and policy use so one of the interesting criteria or interesting interesting trick of forecasting and policy use that you have to fit or you have to use this estimated models provided it should be in a multivariate setup or multivariate setting because for a particular uh, once you, you uh, once you are fitting a uh, prepared to fit a model so y with respect to certain variables then y must have some name okay because uh, without a theory without proper naming then econometric itself is meaningless okay because it's not just statistics or mathematics it is the application of statistics and mathematics to some kind of theory and problems so that means the root is something different the root to is you have to find out the exact structure uh, means the sorry uh, problems okay so that through the problems we have to use mathematics statistics to bring a particular shape okay so that is how it's very interesting so so uh, econometrics is means that we can uh, we can just uh, mention that means you, you have to note that very carefully uh, that uh, uh, econometric is not only for mathematics and statistics it is the application of mathematics statistics where you must have a sufficient evidence about the theory that means that problem which we identify or which you like to investigate it should be very accurate and very perfect very authentic so that uh, so that you will enjoy this game and uh, it will be more practical to use econometric otherwise without sufficient evidence sufficient theory and you just bringing information and just uh, processing it by mathematically and statistically there is no utility at all so, okay econometrics is all together using some different problems and mathematical statistics so that we uh, we discuss that particular problem or uh, represent that particular problem in a more accurate, accurate way or you know more authentic way so that is how econometrics enjoys very uh, economics has a lots of uniqueness so you you must be very careful about that and you must remember all these things it's not uh, just like simple mathematics and simple statistics or simple some any subjects 
but the beautiness of uh, this particular structure in setup is that the problem can be from various angles, various areas, but we have to here analyze with, uh, with the application of you know statistics and mathematics. That is the more interesting beautiful of this uh, uh, you know econometric modeling. So, uh, for instance, uh, some of the mathematical papers, it is very bounded and the uh, application is very limited, but you know uh, the speciality of this particular econometric modeling is uh, its future is you know very much infinite in nature. Uh, you cannot imagine, uh, you cannot say that where it cannot be applied, it will be applied each and every field wherever you like, when there is a question of some argument or verification or justification that times you close your eye and just apply the econometrics provided you must have a sound logic sound theory means proper theory and proper problem setup then you can apply accordingly you will get this process very carefully okay anyway so this is how this is how you have to say get the get the uh, you know econometric multivariate econometric modeling so now uh, the starting point uh, means the briefing of this multivariate econometric modeling is like this where I equal to one to uh, I equal to one to k, and the problem setup is like this. And if you uh, if you really represent in econometric for uh, econometric models, then there should be error terms. Okay, there should be error term. Otherwise, if you just simply write beta zero plus summation beta x i, then it is just mathematical equation only. That means it's a mathematical model only. So, but if you add u, then obviously it is represented as a uh, uh, econometric models. But you know. In the bivariate setup and trivariate setups, we mentioned very clearly. So, this particular model can be represented in three different forms, like you know, with respect to your data setup, uh, like a, a cross sectional samples and time series samples and you know, panel data samples. So, obviously, I have not mentioned here the a, a, you know, uh, sampling structure here. So, whether it is, a, it is a cross samples or you can say time samples or you can say panel data samples. So, obviously, uh, accordingly, you have to use here. So, sampling information, uh, for instance, instead of y, you have to put i, but here I have already used. So, that means you can use j also. So, that means if I, I can write like this way for construction modeling, it is uh, you can say yj for this particular i am just uh, transferring it to a cross sectional uh, formulation here in this if i will write like this way then there is no clear cut identification so whether it is a cross sectional modeling or whether it is a time series modeling or whether it is a panel data modeling so again uh, to make in th this in fact represents the implicit format of the model this itself it has a lots of beautiness because something you are uh, keeping in a hidden so people has to explore and have to the moment you put like this way then by look you cannot make a guess what, what type of problem uh, is this or what is the estimation process so for that uh, to know this one they will read a lot or they will go through your theory etc so that's why lots of you know uh, in research pro pro problems uh, they they uh, start with like this but inside they will mention all details so that uh, anybody can go through it properly and they enjoy this game but you know for the class uh, class point of view or you know for beginners you must be very careful about this particular formulation and now uh, for cross sectional modeling the structure will be like this yj, yj equal to beta 0 plus uh, beta uh, you know summation beta ij and xij no in fact beta i only this is xij because the sample is with respect to variable then uj okay so this is how uh, this is how the formulation are all about so similarly when you will go for uh, time series modeling then j will be transferred to t so when you will go for panel data setting then j will be transferred to jt so that uh, similarly xit so this is how you have to you have to move from um, sample stroke, uh, um, sample pro, uh, different sample problem that means cross sectional to time series and time series to panel data in fact the panel data itself has a lots of beautiful beautiness uh, for instance uh, 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 it will uh, it will increase the sample size but we have not discussed anything the moment you will go for panel data modeling then uh, it is the integration of cross sectional observation and time series observation so that means there is uh, i i is not constant here so uh, uh, i itself will vary and t is not also constant t will vary for instance so suppose there are uh, five different uh, uh, farm analysis okay 
and five, five different uh, time periods. So, 5 into 5 different uh, structures. So, that means uh, it, it is uh, all together keeping t constant t, uh, where t equal to 5. I can change, j can change with respect to uh, you know 5 different uh, industry setup. Then if, according, accordingly, if you keep this constant, then t can change with respect to different time frame. So, that interesting uh, means uh, that type of problem is uh, really panel data analysis. So, which we have to decide. That means if you oh, if you go to set this type of structure, then there will be you can say different uh, uh, all together it is a different ball game. So, means uh, you will find there is a random effect or you can say fit effect etcetera. So, these are all details uh, means we will discuss when we will go for this panel data modeling. We have a separate lecture for that, but uh, in the meantime you just uh, make a look or you must understand the concept behind the multivariate modeling, how you have to bring the issues, how you have to bring the you know structures then uh, uh, then you have to go for this estimation process then how you have to go for the reliability testing etc there is a lot of interesting games you have to find or the lots of enjoyment you will feel when you will handle the multivariate problems you will uh, you will find there are lots of additional techniques additional tools we have to apply when you are in the multivariate setup but which is not practically feasible in the case of bivariate setup and trivariate setup with this basic framework so uh, uh, we will stop here because uh, time will not permit to dis uh, discuss the estimation process of this multivariate modeling so in the next class we will discuss details the setup of multivariate modeling so in the uh, with this we will conclude this particular class thank you very much have a good day